Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can determine a confidence interval for the mean using a student's t-distribution in Excel. Uh, I'll be calculating it this time. Um, there is also an option to use the data uh, analysis tool. Uh, I have a separate video on that if you're interested. The um, data I have I put in column A and I prepared some things but uh, it's just to help along the way. In order to calculate the confidence interval, the first thing we need is to set a confidence level, and usually that's 95%. Then we need the sample size, which is simply the count of everything I have in column A. And then the mean is simply the average of everything in column A. Then the next thing is the standard deviation, which can be done by standard uh, depth and then column A and this is the sample standard deviation so it will be dividing by n minus 1 then the standard error is actually that sample standard deviation divided by the square root of the sample size yes oh and uh, the degrees of freedom is nothing else than the sample size minus a 1 then the confidence, uh, the alpha level, the type 1 error rate, is 1 uh, minus the confidence level. So that's 5%. And then the test statistic um, that we're actually uh, will be using, or it's actually the inverse of it, is uh, going to be T inverse. And then the probability is that alpha. And and then it actually needs the E11, which is the degrees of freedom, which was up here. And that gives a 1.96117. This is already actually divided by 2, so uh, take note that this is uh, the 5%, and then uh, Excel will actually divide it by 2 to get the T alpha divided by 2. And then the margin of error is simply that t alpha divided by 2 multiplied by the standard error and then we can finally construct the confidence interval which is simply now the sample average minus that margin of error and that's the lower bound and the upper bound would be the same but then plus so the sample mean plus that margin of error and our confidence interval is that the mean will be somewhere between this 47.4 and this 48.9. Now, I do recommend that if you're going to be rounding this, that you always round the lower bound uh, down. So you could use a round uh, down for that. So round down this one to uh, zero. And the upper bound, depending on... Uh, how you want to round of course uh, to how many decimals but please round it always up the upper bound and down the lower bound because that way you can guarantee that 95 percent confidence interval or whatever you set if you make uh, if you use regular roundings and you might be rounding well in this case it doesn't matter much but if this would have been 47.8 and you would round that up then actually your interval becomes smaller and then you won't be able to uh, guarantee that confidence uh, level anymore by rounding the lower bound always down and the upper bound always up your confidence level will actually be slightly higher even so um, that's better okay that's it